Okay. Thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. My name is Piero Scaruffi. This program is sponsored by the Stanford Deans of Engineering, Humanities and Sciences, uh, Medicine, by Chemical Engineering, and by Continuing uh, Studies. Uh, for those who are not familiar with the program, <clears throat> Uh, laser stands for Leonardo Art Science Evening Rendezvous. Uh, go to lasertalks.com and you'll find a lot of details. I don't want to waste uh, time going into the long story of the lasers. Um, if you go to lasertalks.com, you'll find that the talks that we uh, we've had over the years, you will see everybody from uh, architects to physicists, um, virologists uh, to street artists. There are now laser series in more than 50 universities worldwide. Um, tonight, today, depending where you are, uh, we have a special event. Uh, usually the lasers have, uh, my lasers have three, four speakers on different topics. Tonight we have one topic. Yeah. And we, this is a special on uh, Russia's alternative media art. And we invited, I invited Nina uh, to moderate. And then we invited artists and curators uh, from the uh, Russian uh, scene, art scene. Uh, so each will give a, a short presentation followed by <coughs> uh, QA. Uh, so we will actually introduce each one separately. I, I just uh, read the names, Nina, secondly. Anna Franz, Elena Gubanova, Natalia Kolodze, and Olga Fischko. Um, uh, extensive bios, very important. If you want to know everything about them, we have extensive bios at lasertalks.com with link to their respective uh, uh, web pages. Uh, feel free to post questions um, on the QA. Mm -hmm. I'll try to uh, I'll try to keep an eye. Um, what else? We are recording. Uh, okay, I'll introduce Nina. Uh, Nina is independent. First of all, Nina is a very modest person. She has an amazing amount of knowledge and she has been doing things like the lasers way before I started uh, <laughs> calling them laser. And she has an incredible network all over the world. She travels everywhere. Uh, she's joining us from Toronto. She's an independent curator, media artist, researcher, educator, originally from Eastern Europe, uh, but now based in uh, Toronto, Canada. Uh, I didn't say it, but uh, it, everybody's in a different city, New York, Miami. Each of you can say where you are based today, Italy, and so on. Um, and, and as I said, Nina collaborates internationally on art and science. Uh, Nina, you want to try to share your screen and then... Uh, not yet, uh, not yet, but I will a little bit later. Uh, it's your turn now. I'm done. I will talk, but the, the oh, I see. comes a little later. Okay. Oh, so, yours. Hello. The volume is yours. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Uh, first, I really would like to sincerely thank Piero and all the presenters, the speakers today for making this special laser possible. Thank you very much. Uh, as uh, Piero already mentioned, the Laser Leonardo Arts and Science Evening Rendezvous series is an independent network. I would like to emphasize, because today is very important that it is an independent network. And uh, today it spans the globe. For nearly a decade, I'm a pro proud co-host uh, in Toronto and Montreal, Canada. And uh, they are, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. So these lasers are very informative, those ones which we organize, but very informal. So this is a nice combination. And uh, the lasers always bring together a wide variety of 
presenters and audiences. This, this last month, we had uh, the proud uh, writers and artists, Stan Stanley and his wife, Z Zena, who just uh, published the Anthropocene cookbook. And uh, we were listened to them in Toronto while they were Zooming for Oslo. So we try to do our best. <clears throat> today's, to be very serious now, uh, today's event exemplifies the vital importance of presenting information on contemporary media art events and projects. This we propagate because we really would like to make sure that uh, beyond the US and the European centric uh, events, we go much beyond and involve people from different parts of the world who are also coming with a different background and with different projects. Now, Piero, I have to share my screen. Okay. Yes. Here it is. Yes, we see your screen. We see your slides. Yes. Thank you. So, art is a catalyst, and it pr pr uh, prompts us to think global, act local, and collaborate internationally. <laughs> As Piero mentioned, I'm an independent artist with some academic affiliations. And in my role as a catalyst, I prom <clears throat> I created and curated over decades multidisciplinary projects in many locations. So I'll show you a few examples. I, I now how we get there. Yes, okay. So <clears throat> this is just a little taste of all the places I am going and working. This is symbiosis, and uh, <clears throat> this was in uh, working together was a title, and this was in Pachuca, Mexico. This is aerospace atmosphere. This is uh, a stone it, uh, up in an uh, observatory on the mountainside in New Plymouth, uh, New Zealand. And this is the north and the south uh, pole and the climate about it. So here we go in the different places all over the world. This is resonance. Resonance is built on uh, Nikola Tesla's uh, concept and it went to many places uh, touring in Europe mostly, but in, also in North America. And this is a visual collider project with Markus Neustädter, and this also toured in quite a few places. And it uh, has something to do uh, in terms of the concept uh, in the, uh, with the Large Hadron Collider, but it's just the concept. And this is the latest um, big project. It was last year, Sensoria, the art and science of our senses. And this was uh, actually uh, both in Poland, in Gdansk, Poland, and uh, Toronto at York University. We had uh, exhibitions, performances, residences, and uh, all of this built up under the first, uh, first uh, pandemic. But I don't want to 
take more time. I think there are very interesting presentations coming up. I would like to hand over the platform and please, Anna, can you start? 